What's up, Nail Geeks? I am back with Zoya's Easy Neon Collection. This is a six-piece set of neons that, per Zoya, does not require white undies, and they all come with the Z-Wide brush. If there's one thing I love more than a full-coverage glitter polish, it is neon polishes. I am stoked and hyped for this collection, so let's dive right into the swatches. First up is Oakley. This can be described as a fiery, bright orange neon. So this is uh, quite, quite bright for an orange. And these are all so, so pretty. I am loving this collection. Now I want to note those of you who are new to indie polishes, a lot of times neon pigments will leave you uh, naturally dry down to a very matte like finish. And uh, these definitely have that. So they dry very harsh, as you can see, in between my coats. And for opacity on all of them, I'm going to suggest between two or three coats, depending on how prominent your free edge is and how long your nails are. Now, some of these I took to two coats and some I took to three coats just to kind of give you guys an idea. But for the most part, they're pretty identical in formula. They are smooth and creamy, but in my opinion, apply uh, quite jelly-like. Now, I agree with Zoya's um, description of the collection that you absolutely do not need a white undie for these. Uh, they are quite vibrant when you build them up and just super, super smooth. Now the top coat I'm using in this video is Zoya's Naked Manicure Glossy Top Coat. And next is Zelda. This is described as a beaming pink coral neon. This is another really pretty color. I'm as absolutely like in love with this collection. Um, they're so stinking pretty and oh my goodness, I'm so ready for neon collections. I've been keeping my eye on social media for who's releasing them and um, I'm just stoked, super excited and I think Zoya did these really well. Now on Zelda, I do agree, it's absolutely got this coral sort of feel in person. It's definitely got a strong pink lean to it and uh, almost got this uh, salmon-y sort of pinky appearance to it as well. Now Zelda was another one that I took up to three coats and you can see I had pretty good coverage on my second coat. You can see a touch of my smile line, but I feel like given that these dry down so matte that after you go in with the glossy top coat to uh, kind of seal everything up, um, I think it also makes it very forgiving. So even if you see a touch of your smile line, once you top coat and finish it off, I think uh, you it kind of covers it up more. And next is Janie. This is described as a hot fuchsia pink. This is gorgeous, really, really pretty. One of my favorite types of neon shades is um, these nice purpley or pink sort of colors. And I really like neon pinks that have a cool tone to them once you build it up. I think it pops really well against my skin tone. And especially if you've got medium to deep tones, I can see this, this one popping on you as well. I just really love neon colors and I think they're universally flattering. I mean, I think they'll pop on just about any skin tone and um, really digging it. So Janie is awesome. I wore this one at two coats and you can see um, in the very bright lights for my full hand shot, you can see a touch of my smile line, but in person, it really wasn't noticeable. And next is Banks. This is described as a vivid violet neon. So again, this one uh, has that similar, very smooth jelly sort of formula, but I do think that Banks has the thinnest formula out of all six. So on this one, I'm highly gonna suggest going in for three coats on it. Now, this is the first time I'm using the Z wide brush and I'm in love with it. And I really hope eventually Zoya will move to having these in the, all of their polishes um, because it absolutely helped to apply. And especially for people like me, I've got the wide load nail problem and it just applied so well with that brush. Now here on that third coat, especially in between that second and third coat, you can really see how matte these are drying down. So I do think they would look really cool mattified. Uh, when I wear mattes, rarely in real life. Um, I definitely still finish off with a glossy top coat and then I go in with a matte top coat. That way it gives me that thicker like appearance, but it also prevents me from uh, any additional chipping. And next is Echo. This is described as a deep lagoon blue. 
Of course, this one is my favorite. This is, um, I mean, let me count the ways in which I love this color. It is so, so pretty. It's very vibrant. It's this beautiful medium, but very, very bright flirting with being a light blue, but it's just deep. And I definitely agree with the official description. Uh, it's, it's this oceanic lagoon sort of blue, very pretty. Now on Echo, I'm going to suggest again, two to three coats. I stopped at that second coat as I wanted to see how the glossy top coat was going to kind of hide my free edge a little more once I uh, kind of canceled out that mattified dry down. And uh, you can see on my full hand shot, it's perfect. It's wonderful. So uh, two to three coats and you'll be good to go. And again, this is such a pretty blue color. And lastly, we have Link. This is described as an electric Kelly green neon. Now, I was very uh, pleased to report that on a couple of my nails, I got some of the polish on my cuticle line. I had no staining with any of these, so that was pretty awesome. But uh, on Link, I did notice that when I was cleaning up after I got it on my cuticle, that um, just a little bit of this yellowy looking green pigment lingered behind. It didn't stain me, but uh, I think this one you're going to need to uh, just kind of get in there a little bit more when you go in for removal. But again, it's not a stainer. I had no staining issues on any of these. Now, Link, I'm also going to suggest going in for three coats on this one. It's a little bit uh, more pigmented than Banks, that purple, but um, I do think this one really requires that third light coat to finish it off. I also think it's kind of ironic that uh, Link is named uh, for the green in this set. I wonder if that's a reference, which would be pretty cool, but uh, who knows at this point. Now, the Easy Neon collection is currently available through Zoya's website. Uh, you can grab them individually for 11 each. They've also got a bundle set, which I personally think is a fantastic deal. You can grab all six of the colors with the large remove plus flipper bottle and a glossy manicure seal, which is the top coat that I'm using in this video. Uh, that is 70. I'll break all of this down below for you guys. And again, I'll link you to the shop. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.